If the Mad Max franchise manages to continue after Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, I know exactly what prequel George Miller should make next. Nine years after Mad Max, Fury Road proved there were still stories worth telling within the wasteland, Furiosa became the latest chapter in the universe's expansion. By telling the origin of Charlize Theron's character with Anya Taylor-Joy taking over the role, the prequel did an amazing job of introducing new locations, characters, and pieces of Mad Max lore that could all factor into future installments of the franchise. It is unclear whether more Mad Max movies will be made after Furiosa, a Mad Max saga's box office underperformed. The cost of financing George Miller's extravagant productions in this franchise are not cheap, even if audiences and critics were generally very fond of what he delivered. I'm still hoping that Furiosa is not the end of the Mad Max franchise and that Miller will find ways to make more movies, whether they be sequels or more prequels. But after watching Furiosa, there's one Mad Max prequel movie I want to see more than the rest. Praetorian Jack deserves a prequel movie next after Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Tom Burke played the driver in Furiosa. Now that George Miller has gone back in the Mad Max timeline to do a prequel about Furiosa, he needs to do Praetorian Jack next. Furisoa, a Mad Max saga introduced Tom Burke's Praetorian Jack as Immortan Joe's most trusted driver through the wasteland. After befriending Furiosa and teaching her the ropes of driving through the post-apocalyptic Australian landscape, the seemingly romantic feelings that develop between them make him one of the best parts of the movie. That's why I was so heartbroken when Praetorian Jack died in Furiosa in such an ambiguous way. It is thanks to this story and Burke's performance that I couldn't help but feel like there was more to explore with Praetorian Jack afterward. He was a significant piece of the puzzle, brought a great screen presence, and was a terrific partner for Furiosa on the open road. But since Furiosa still very much positions her and Dementis as the main characters, there is not a ton of room to fully develop and explore Praetorian Jack's story. That is why a Praetorian Jack Mad Max prequel movie could be so great. Miller could be tempted to do prequels about Immortan Joe or Dementis and dive further into the villainy of the wasteland, but they have both had strong showings before. I would be so excited to learn more about Praetorian Jack's past and see his experiences in this universe before the events of Furiosa. It would also potentially help Miller further bridge the gap between the original Mel Gibson movies and his more modern action films. What a Praetorian Jack Mad Max prequel could explore. His backstory has been teased. Dr. Dementis, Chris Hemsworth, holds the face of Furiosa, Anya Taylor-Joy, who seems to be holding back anger, Praetorian Jack, Tom Burke, observes them in Furiosa image via Warner Brothers. Furiosa is rather light on details regarding Praetorian Jack's backstory, leaving plenty of room for a prequel about his life to reveal more. All that is really known is that Jack knew Immortan Joe before the fall and comes from a military background. These details provide a baseline for what a Praetorian Jack prequel could focus on. The movie could be Miller's chance to go back to the time of the apocalypse and fall of humanity and tell that story through Jack's eyes. He'd then be the vessel for watching Immortan Joe's rise to power and how the world changed. If George Miller doesn't want to go back to Praetorian Jack's origin for a prequel movie, he could still explore his life before Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Burke's character spent these years working for Immortan Joe and driving across the wasteland. He surely encountered plenty of trouble throughout his drives, especially to become the legendary figure he is when Furiosa meets him. A prequel movie could show us exactly why Praetorian Jack was such a key part of Immortan Joe's empire. I could even see him playing a part in Auntie Entity's defeat and Bartertown's destruction.